Getting to Israel was about a 10 hour flight. We were tired. I was exhausted. My legs were super tight. I was ready to hit the road. We grabbed our bags and immediately jumped on the bus to head to Caesarea. There's our bus, hit the road, and before you knew it, about two hours later, bam, Caesarea. It was beautiful. All of the architecture blew my mind, things I had never seen before. Caesarea on the Mediterranean Sea coast is located midway between Haifa and Tel Aviv. The city was built by Herod in dedication to the Roman Caesar and served as capital to the Roman province. In the book of Acts, Paul was actually sent here to Caesarea from Jerusalem to be heard by the governor Felix. And there's Raj breaking things down. I feel like every time he spoke, it, it was an emotional movement. God spoke through him. It was such a blessed time, but he would drop knowledge on us and then give us a moment of silence just to take it all in, to think, to pray, to observe. This is still day one. If you look close, you'll see people in this theater. It actually is still used to this day. After a long day of travel, we were happy to be home and ready to get some rest. But check out this view from the Sea of Galilee. What we heard though is that the morning has the best sunrise. So there's a little sneak peek. The next day we headed to Magdala, the home of Mary Magdalene. It was once a prosperous fishing village at the time when Jesus was ministering in this region. It was highly likely that Jesus taught in this synagogue, as the Bible tells us that Jesus taught throughout Galilee. We were there for a little bit and back on the road. The next stop on our trip was Capernaum. Many of Jesus' miracles, healings, and sermons are described by all four gospel authors as taking place in Capernaum. Okay, we were back on the road, and the next stop was the Mount of the Beatitudes, which overlooks the northwestern shore of the Sea of Galilee. It's also believed to be the site where Jesus gave the Sermon on the Mount. You know your boy. I like to wander off on my own. I've seen some of these little statues that were put together, wandered over, had to get a view of that. I thought that was pretty cool. Here's another one that I saw. And before you know it, I had been away from the group for too long. And what do I see? I see my partner in crime. Here she is, she found me. She's coming to check in, see what I'm up to. We jumped back on the road and ended the day by heading over to the Lebanon border. Israel's border with Lebanon has long been an area of conflict. We got some political, historical, cultural, even biblical context of what's taking place. At the end of the day, the recurring theme came back to it's complex and it's complicated, not something that's easily solved. There's that beautiful sunrise, brand new day, let's hit it. This had to be one of my favorite days. We got to break out into small groups and jump into one of these bad boys and go off-roading. Our guide was hilarious. This guy had jokes for days, king of dad jokes. Definitely buckle up because we are about to go off-roading. This was probably the easiest terrain that we were on. We were in the Golan Heights. The Golan Heights is an area between the border of Israel and Syria. We were heading to a military briefing on the ferocity and importance of recent wars here and the realities of Israel's modern day security challenges. But to get there, we had to go into this unmanned bunker, which was dark, make our way through, and then pop up on the other side where we would meet our guide.
the realities of war are sobering. It's hard to go there, see it, and then just forget about it. It's a lot to take in, but we enjoyed our time there, we learned a lot, and then we were back on the road. We then made our way to Jerusalem, the very place where Jesus died, resurrected, and ascended into heaven. Our trip to Israel up to this point has been eye-opening. It's been more than I could have imagined, better than I would have ever thought. The people, the culture, the atmosphere, it's electric. There's something in the air. There's something indescribable that's taking place in Israel. It's a place that you truly have to visit in order to truly understand. What's happening? Uh, the hotel. Look, at the hotel. It's locked. Trying to get in. Trying to get in. And we got 30 minutes. What's happening? Why, why is it going to get shut down? No, that street shuts down. That's and our street street's shut down. That street's open. Shut <laughs> 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 It's for the vlog. Yeah. yeah. For the whole city's shutting down and we're going to be locked in the hotel. After a long day of seeing sights, we arrived to our hotel a little late and weren't able to get in on time. But all was well. They let us in. We got unpacked and we headed to our host's home where we turned off our phone and enjoyed our very first Shabbat. <laughs>